All right, so for our morning meeting this morning, we talked about rules while we are having our morning meeting. Oh, and you know what? I forgot to mention that we also practice saying good morning and sharing something. So when we are in our meetings, yes, we all might like to share, but we have to take turns. Now this story shows us a little bit about rules and why we need them. Now some of these rules are for here at school, but we can also follow these rules at home as well. Follow these rules at home. So let's see what this tells us. We need rules. And like somebody asked earlier, what are rules? And rules are directions that we need to follow. And if somebody doesn't follow those rules, uh-oh, there can be consequences. It says, I wonder what school would be like if there were no rules. Hmm. Well, these are the four rules that we always follow anywhere. Use your walking feet, share and take turns, wash your hands before eating, clean up, or raise your hand when you want to say something. Hmm. What would happen if I could run in the classroom? or run all around the house. Oh, look at those faces. Uh-oh, I think they know what might happen, do you? Oh, uh-oh, yep. I might get hurt, so I guess we need that rule. And what would happen if I didn't have to give someone else a turn? Which is rule number two. Hmm. Uh-oh, I might never get a turn. Oh, so I guess we need that rule. Even though we're not here at school and we're not taking turns with friends using things, at home you can still take turns, but in our meetings, taking turns would be to talk, taking turns to talk or showing something. Hmm, what would happen if I could eat my snack without washing my hands? Uh-oh, I might get sick. So I guess we need that rule. Oh, and even especially at home too. We've been doing a really good job about keeping our hands clean, getting rid of all those germs, right? After we sneeze, after we cough, even right before we eat, because we don't want any of those germs to get in our mouth. Hmm, what would happen if I didn't clean up after our lesson or after my playtime? Uh-oh, I might not be able to find my toys. I guess we need that rule. Huh, what would happen if I didn't have to wait for the teacher to call on me? Oh, we definitely need that rule. Raise your hand, right, when you want to say something. Oh, no. Oh, look at the teacher. No one would hear me. Everybody's talking. It would be so loud. We definitely need that rule, even during our meetings on the computer. So rules keep us safe when we are in school, but also keeps us happy and ready to learn and ready to learn. So rules are very, very important, very important. We need rules. Okay, so like I said, even though we're not in school, we can still follow some of these rules, but our rules are very important, especially during our meetings when we are on the computer, okay? Listening with our eyes and our ears, like we said this morning. Oh, I might ask if you can hear me. You gotta make sure you can hear me, okay? And your mic needs to be turned off. Your mic needs to be turned off so that way everyone can hear me. And when it is your turn, then I will let you know when you can talk. All right. So um, also in this folder for social studies is the slideshow that shows a little bit more about our rules and how you can keep your space clean and what not to do. When we are in our meeting, okay, 
Um, you should be sitting in your chair at the table behind the desk, not underneath, not laying down because then I can't see you. Sometimes I might say, uh oh, I see so and so. You need to sit up, please, so I can see you. And your little brother shouldn't be right here next to you, or your dog shouldn't be here and barking. You shouldn't be eating because what if I call on you to ask, answer a question? Oh no, then your mouth is gonna be full, okay? So we're going to need to make sure about all of those rules. So that way everybody can learn and listen while I'm doing my lessons, all right? Well, this is our last lesson, so you will then, what I want you to do is work on your hat. Even though we weren't here at school, it was still our first day of kindergarten. And I had put this in your bag. I had already cut mine out to show the others, but you can take this out and I want you to color it and cut it out. And your grown up can use a stapler, tape, or glue to glue this end and then measure it around your head and staple it or put tape again. And then you will have your hat that you can wear for your first day of kindergarten. All right, all right, well, I hope you guys had a good day and we'll try this again tomorrow, bye.